Hi guys, welcome back to another Utah tutorial. In this tutorial, we will talk about how to connect your Viber partner account with Utah Viber channel to create your Viber chatbot. So without further ado, let's dive right into. On your Viber page, you have an option to create a Viber bot. If you click on it, it is going to ask for Viberbot token, which is actually the Viberbot API key. So in order to do that, you would have to complete your registration. You can access your Viber chatbot token to enter here and connect your partner account with the UChat Viber channel. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the registration process and then how to access the API key. And then we're going to enter that API key over here. Now we will register for Viber bot account. For that, we will have to visit partners.viber.com forward slash login. We would have to enter the phone number we have with our Viber application because Viber would send us verification code on it through which we will log in. Right, so this is the home screen that we land on to once we successfully enter the key we receive in our Viber app. If you look at the extreme left inside of the page, it says create bot account here in purple. This means we are in a process of creating our bot account on Partners Viber dashboard. So first thing it's asking for is the image. If you click on the plus sign, we would be able to attach an image from our computer. It could be our image, it could be our logo, it could be another business image, whatever it would be um, that we want to you know, have as a display for the chatbot. Further down and over here, we have the account name option. So once we start typing account name, the information in URL would start changing as well. So right now you can see that over here, I'm saying that I just want to have you chat chatbot and the field below, which says URL is auto populating as well. So either you can use the auto population or you can custom name this field as well. Beneath that, it asks for your business category. You just have to select your business category here. Um, underneath that, it asks for the subcategory and then the language. Uh, account description, it gives you 500 characters of account description space. Um, this is the website address. This is optional. So if you have one, you can enter that information here. If you don't have one, you don't have to worry about it. You have to enter your email address here. Then we would be required to enter the location. Below that, we have four different terms and conditions options. You can select these options based on, you know, if they apply to your business or not and then hit create. Once we fill, uh, fill the form, we would click create and we move over to the next step. So once we click on create, our registration for bot account is complete. And you can see as um, it shows on the screen, we have the API token that we will enter in our UChat Viber channel. Um, over here, the API token is hidden, but we will go over to you chat and show you how we can add this. So now that we have successfully created the Viber partner account and also created Viber chatbot or bot account, we now have access to our Viber bot API. We are going to enter that API key in our Viber bot channel to connect Viber partner account with you chat Viber channel and then create chatbot so that our chatbot is active on um, our Viber app. So let me go ahead and enter the Viber key and show you once it's done how it looks. Right, so we have successfully connected our Viber partner account with the UChat Viber channel. And now we have our chatbot connected and ready to go. All we have to do is create, click on create flow click on a template. Right now I do not have any templates, but if you've created other flows for other channels, you must have more than one template. So choose the template you want to use, or you can always name the template, which is going to be an empty template, and create a new flow for your Viber channel. 
your chatbot is ready and you can start integrating. That is all for now. Hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for your time and hope you have a good day.